My name is Lisa Yildricks. I'm one of the vice principals at LCBI, and I'm thrilled to be part of this very special celebration. At this time, the Trillium Lakelands District School Board acknowledges that these lands and waters are the traditional homeland of the Ojibwe Nation and the Huron-Wendat Nation, and now includes communities from the Mohawk Nation, the Potawatomi Nation, and the Métis Nation of Ontario. We acknowledge their stewardship throughout the ages. To our graduates, it gives me great pleasure to wish you the most sincere congratulations. All the best to you in your future. You have made your family, your school, and your community so very proud. Now, please join Caitlin Thibodeau, a member of our graduating class, in the singing of our national anthem. Thank you, Mr. Foster. Oh, Canada. Our home and native land, true patriot love in all of us command. With glowing hearts we see thee rise, the true north strong and free. From far and wide, oh Stand on guard for thee. God keep our land glorious and free. Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Oh, Hello and welcome to LCBI's 2020 virtual graduation celebration. I'd like to extend a very special welcome to the 110 members of our graduating class. My name is Mark Cosrin, principal here at LCBI. Now this certainly isn't the format that we would have expected for graduation, but based on the current situation, a traditional graduation was not possible. Thank you to the students and parents who completed the online survey regarding graduation. Based on the feedback, we chose to record a virtual celebration now to have some kind of closure. If social distancing rules are lifted in the fall, we plan on hosting a traditional graduation ceremony on Friday, October the 9th, which is the beginning of Thanksgiving weekend. As we get closer to that date, we will share very specific information with grad families. Now I would like to call on TLDSB Trustee Mr. David Morrison, who will bring greetings from the board. Thank you, Mr. Cosserman, and good evening, Spartans, graduates, families, friends. It's a wonderful opportunity uh, to be here to bring a message of greetings and congratulations from all of the trustees of the Trillium Lakelands District School Board. Graduates, we want you to know we're incredibly proud of what you've accomplished. The last four or five years of hard work have all paid off and you're here at this point, marking in a very important milestone in your life's journey. Uh, at this time, aside from saying congratulations to you, we want to say thanks very much to all your families and friends that have supported you to get to where you are and as well, the wonderful staff at LCBI. Mr. Cosrin and all of your teachers, EAs, secretaries, custodians, the many, many people that uh, make it all possible and who have shared this journey with you. We say thank you very much. Uh, we hope that you've made some wonderful friendships and some great memories over the last years and that you can take those with you and they'll help you stay connected with this great school community as you move on to your next endeavors. So, from Mr. Bruce Rand, the chair of the board, and from all the other trustees, congratulations, and we wish you all the very best as you move on. Thank you very much. The majority of our grads entered kindergarten way back in 2006. So much has happened since then. You've all experienced challenges and overcome obstacles. Each of you took your own distinct path, but more importantly, you reached your destination, and for that, we congratulate you. However, this trip has not been made alone. 
To the parents and guardians of our graduates, you have played an active supporting role in your child's educational odyssey. I'm sure many of you have your own memories that demonstrate that this journey has, in reality, been a collective one. To the parents and guardians, congratulations on a job well done. And thank you for allowing the LCVI staff to be part of your child's development over the last four years. Speaking of which, I want to extend a heartfelt thank you to our teaching and support staff. The adults who enter this building on a daily basis do a remarkable job of creating a safe and stimulating learning environment for our students. This positive atmosphere results from strong relationships developed both inside and outside the classroom. Thank you to all of our staff for sharing your passion and expertise with our students. Finally, to everyone who's taking time to watch this virtual grad, thank you. We hope you enjoy it. Hello, my name is Kelly White and I'm Head of Student Success at LCBI. Spartan graduates, I am speaking from the heart when I tell you it has been an honor and a pleasure to watch you grow up for the past four years. I remember you as shy grade nines when you walked into the gym, wondering who this crazy woman was jumping up and down, singing Old MacDonald and popping balloons. You made friends, you toured the school, and you were on your journey to becoming true Spartans. You ran past me for four years, dressed in pink tutus, pink tights, and pink face paint. You always brought tons of spirit, and you made a world of difference to people in need with your contributions. You created art, performed in plays, built wooden tables, wired electrical boards, wrote poetry, and donned jerseys to become excellent teammates both on and off the field. My heart swells when I see you now, all grown up off to bigger and better adventures, whether it's college, university, working, or gaining a certification. You have gained the knowledge that you need to become a Spartan in the world. Your heart is strong, capable, and most of all, determined. It's time to pack up your box of memories and move forward toward your goals don't be afraid to dream large, and most of all, don't forget your family at LCBI wishes you the best. The slideshow that you are about to see consists of a grad photo of each of the graduating students, along with any award or endorsement that each grad has received. Favorite memories of LCBI and future plans, goals, and dreams will also be viewed. Good luck class of 2020. This has been a year you'll never forget. Open 
up the dirty window Let the sun illuminate the white light You cannot find reaching for something in the distance So close you can almost taste it Release your inhibitions Feel the rain on your skin No one else can feel it for you Only you can let it in No one else, no one else can speak the words on your lips Trench yourself in words unspoken
on the rail line Up on the mountain Caught on the rail line My brotherly daughters be Drink your wine Smoke your weed, my brother Let the heart stop me And where your silver line Where it crawls to your skin Just 
back for the end of the world But it's feeling just like every other morning before Now I wonder what my life is gonna mean if it's gone The cars are moving like a half a mile an hour And I started staring at the passengers and waving goodbye Can you tell me what was ever really special about me all this time? But I believe the world is burning to the ground Oh well, I guess we're gonna find out Let's see how far we've come Let's see how far we've come well, I believe it all is coming to an end Oh well, I guess we're gonna pretend Let's see how far we've come Let's see how far we've come I think it turned 10 o'clock, but I don't really know And I can't remember caring for an hour or so There's nowhere to run to I sat down on the street Took a look at myself Said where you going man You know the world is headed for hell Say your oh, goodbyes If you got someone you can say Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating the LCVI graduating class of 2020. Thank you, Ms. White. After 30 years as a staff member at LCVI, she begins her retirement tomorrow. And for the vast majority of the graduating class, she would have been the first individual that you would have met in this building four years ago during the grade nine orientation because she was lead organizer, just like she was a lead organizer for our Trish Peter run. Kelly, on behalf of the entire school community, thank you so much for your three decades of commitment to this community. We wish you all the best. We now come to one of the highlights of graduation. At the end of each school year, the graduating class select, by vote, a classmate to be their spokesperson, someone to share their memories of their time at LCVI. It is my great pleasure to introduce this year's valedictorian, Tiana Hanshaw. Normally this speech would begin with me thanking you all for attending our ceremony. And well, this year hasn't exactly been normal, has it? So I suppose, given the circumstances, I would need to correct that statement. So thank you, Liam Rosborough Feltham, Mr. Patterson, and Mr. Cosrin for attending this ceremony and filming. And thank you to the family members, staff, and graduates watching our virtual ceremony at this moment, including myself. 
and thank you to the staff and students that made this virtual ceremony possible. It feels as if we were walking into LCVI's grade nines weeks ago. We've grown together as Spartans, and though we're moving on, that's not to say that our time here at LCVI wasn't memorable. We've made lifelong friendships and gained memorable experiences as Spartans, including surviving AP Calculus. At this moment, I want to thank Ms. Cooper Hepburn for teaching us for an entire year. I don't know if I would have managed to remain sane teaching us for 10 months. Though we were only a class of 10 students, we were talkative. She brought us lollipops and candies to ensure that we, or should I say Sam, was occupied during lessons and wouldn't interrupt. But no one can say that she didn't make our math class entertaining. However, there's more to our experience at LCVI than grades. Being a part of the clubs, teams, and activities at LCVI were the experiences which made our time at LCVI memorable. Seeing the student participation during our Trish Peter events, our spirit days, and our fundraisers and barbecues were the moments we came together as Spartans and as a part of a caring community of friends and family. Whether you participated in the spirit days, stayed awake until early in the morning at the drama festivals to be called a gremlin, or you went to represent LCVI at Offsa and Casa, you're a part of the Spartan community and will forever be a part of the Spartan community. And although we might have learned important lessons in our classes, we learned important lessons outside of class from each other. We learned that it's okay to fail a test because there will be someone to help you study for the next one. We learned that it's okay to need help from your friends and that they'll always be there when you do. When I walked into LCVI, I thought we needed to have our entire future planned by grade 12. But high school isn't about knowing where you're going to be in 10 or 20 years. It's about opening yourself up to new experiences. In 30 years, I won't remember Newton's laws or how to find a derivative, but I'll remember hiding in Mrs. Russell's room during a purge while playing spoons. I'll remember walking to Tim Hortons in the winter without coats with Alyssa Codling, my co-director for the play that didn't happen, and the cast because I wanted hot chocolate. And I'll remember playing Dutch Blitz in the common area on spare and losing. I'd advise you not to play that game with Jesse Wardlaw. You won't win. I'll remember running around after school hiding shamrocks in classrooms with Sam Collis, my co-president of SAC, on what happened to be one of our last days of high school together. High school is about the memories you make and those you make them with. Hunter S. Thompson said, Life should not be a journey to the grave with the intention of arriving safely in a pretty and well-preserved body, but rather to skid in broadside in a cloud of smoke, thoroughly used up, totally worn out, and loudly proclaiming, wow, what a ride. It's about the experiences. No matter where you go or what you do in life, and I know you're all going to be amazing at whatever you decide to do, I want you to remember to slow down once in a while. Time goes by fast. We've already graduated high school. You don't want to miss any moments. Be true to yourself, and as Paul Brandt said, don't let anyone tell you that the sky's the limit when there are footprints on the moon. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Cosserin, and thank you, Tiana, for sharing those words of inspiration and fond memories of LCBI. Just as Tiana highlighted, before 2016, you weren't sure what to think about high school, and the thought of entering these doors was one that was exciting, but also sometimes stressful. You had yet to discover Trish Peter Day, when a massive wave of pink would invade the town of Lindsay. There were student-teacher hockey games, pancake breakfast, and of course intramurals and year-end celebrations complete with bouncy castles. So here we are, 2016 to 2020, and you have come and gone from these doors at least 1,500 times, whether you were hopping off the bus or walking from school. So let's take one last look inside and walk down memory lane. As your valedictorian highlighted, we have also spent much time in this common area over the last four years, and photos of alumni posted here also remind us that every generation has faced both challenges and change that at first seemed to be very overwhelming. However, in time, each generation also finds its voice, develops ways to become involved in the community and greater world. This year commemorates the 150th anniversary of your yearbook, The Tatler, and a stroll through its contents can provide some unique examples of what previous generations of Spartans faced and overcame. Back to 1946. While the grad class had to get used to being teenagers through World War, they also managed to raise an amazing amount of $78,000, which would be the equivalent today of $748,000, through the sale of war bonds and war stamps in the LC community. Can you imagine raised by teenagers who wanted to be a part of helping daily life return to normalcy? 
a sentiment that certainly rings true for today. The teenagers of this era also spoke about their fondness for the refugee student who could not return home to war-torn England and so attended school here at LC. In 1958, the editor-in-chief of the Tatler, Marjorie Finley, wrote about the concerns she and her peers had about the space race, space rockets, unknown planets, and other undiscovered worlds. But Marjorie also comforted her LC peers by stating, the changes in our life may be both drastic and permanent, but this is no cause for alarm. For we are sure no matter what, that human values will remain the same. Values like compassion and kindness. As the Cold War carried on, Spartans also chatted with pride and with enthusiasm when LC students left to visit and participate in proceedings at the United Nations headquarters in New York, sharing the voice of their generation. In the 90s and 2000s, a small group of Spartans found their collective voice and rallied against human rights injustices throughout the world by participating in many Amnesty International campaigns. Flash forward to 2004, and while students at LC still mourn the loss of their spirited Trish Peter, they also rallied and began a memorial walk raising funds to help other students and embedding a legacy of making a difference in the lives of future Spartans, which has gone on for more than a decade now. These are just a few examples of challenges from the past and the triumphs that prevailed. Indeed, you are the first grad graduating class to experience a virtual grad ceremony this evening, and you too have developed the resiliency and confidence you needed to complete your studies at home, learning about the challenges of learning at home. You have not let the strange new normal of 2020 stop you, and just as you walk through the doors of LCBI for the first time in 2016, you will continue to take new steps, walk through new doors in the pursuit of your goals. In fact, many of you are already trailblazers of your own generation right now. Having walked in recent protests and parades for climate justice, reconciliation, LGBTQ rights, and the Black Lives Matter movement, and many of you are already serving on the front lines in your own community as essential workers. You are already heroes and well positioned to take your next steps. Perhaps you will continue this legacy and become an advocate like alumni and Rhodes Scholar Tasha Bragge, who along with her sister and family worked to establish schools in Tibet for local children. Maybe you will continue as a dedicated athlete like baseball player Joanne Graham, class of 1983, or 1991 swimmer Nancy Sweetnam. Certainly many of you will become scholars like Dr. George Edward Hall, 1924 graduating class, whose research on the effects of high altitudes on pilots contributed to the development of oxygen equipment and protective clothing. Perhaps you will lead the way for women's future health rights like our own pioneering Dr. Elizabeth Bagshaw, class of 1899 and local hero. Perhaps you'll become a great leader, like William Radiff, class of 1988. This former Spartan was recently appointed Brigadier General and Deputy Commander of the Alaska NORAD region, keeping a watch over all of us in Canada. One thing we know for sure is that change is constant, but in true Spartan form, you've got this graduating class of 2020, and you will receive much praise from generations of future Spartans who, in turn, take a look at their collective past. You should also know your group of peers has inspired me more than I could have ever hoped for. Congratulations to each and every one of you, and may you hold your memories of LCVI and the people you have met close to your heart, just as I will certainly do. Once a Spartan, always a Spartan. Be proud. Thank you, Ms. Wallensberger, for that wonderful valedictory response. After 25 years at LCBI, first as a teacher of history, then as our head of special education, and then finally as our vice principal, she begins her retirement tomorrow. On behalf of the entire school community, we wish her all the best and we thank her for her quarter century of commitment to the school community. Enjoy the next chapter in your life. I'm standing just outside the entrance to our main gym beside our school banner. Now, traditionally, during the night of graduation, the SAC president carries the banner and leads the graduating class into the gym and then places it on the stage. I really hope that the next time we meet as a group will be on October the 9th, and Tiana Hanshaw will be carrying 
that banner leading all of you in for your graduation. Before we conclude, I do have one announcement. Grads, please check your Gmail accounts. We will be sharing information with you about how to pick up your grad package at the school. Secondly, a big thank you to our award donors. The LCBI school community truly appreciates your consistent support of our grads. Thank you to the members of our virtual grad committee. And last but not least, a big thank you to a member of our graduating class, Liam Roseboro Feltham, who did a tremendous amount of planning and produced this entire virtual ceremony. Without him, it would not be possible. And we do conclude with Miss Gordon's slideshow showing our grads during their four years here at LCBI. It's been a pleasure, folks. Spartans, keep it classy. Take care. We wish you all the best. I hope the days come easy and the moments pass slow And each road leads you where you want to go And if you're faced with a choice and you have to choose Hope you choose the one that means the most to you Hope you still feel small when you stand beside the ocean Whenever one door closes, I hope one more opens Promise me that you'll give faith a fighting chance And if it's cold outside Show the world the warmth of your smile But more than anything More than anything I hope you dare That dream I'm dreaming There's a voice inside my head saying You'll never reach it But I, I gotta keep trying Gotta keep my head held high My wish for you Is that this life becomes all jump you don't feel the fall hope when the water rises you build a wall and hope when the crowd screams out the screaming your name hope if everybody runs you'll say it's always gonna be another mountain Always gonna wanna make it move Always gonna be an uphill battle Sometimes I'm gonna have to lose Ain't about how fast I get there Ain't about what's waiting on the other side I, I did it all First kid in the family to graduate To the kid who wanted one last slide at home plate and To the couple who wanted to dance the night away It's gone
gonna be okay To the grandparents who wanted to see the age To see their babies walk across that stage It might have been all ruined by a plague But it's gonna be Watch the panic grow. We wanted memories with our friends. We wanted family to attend our graduation, but we didn't know it would end this way. But all I can say is it's gonna be okay. Graduation's only a stepping stone A chance to see just how much we've grown In just a few months we'll be on our own It's gonna be okay This ain't the time to sit down the pen grow. We wanted memories with our friends. We wanted family to attend a graduation, but we didn't know it would end this way. But all I can say, it's gonna be I am Liam Ross for Feltham, and I was lucky enough to have the pleasure of working on this virtual graduation. I'd like to thank Mr. Kosterin for bringing me on board, as well as everyone else on the committee and on location during the production day who contributed and helped everything run smoothly. Regardless of your age, whether you're a parent, grandparent, or a student, remember that it is never too late to make a change in your life. There is so much more out in the world than any one of us can comprehend, so take moments to pause, reflect, Find something that interests you and pursue it with all of the ardor that you can muster. To all of my peers, congratulations on achieving this significant milestone. The world is yours to experience. Remember that no matter where you are in life, there are an infinite number of possibilities spanning into the future. So go forth and explore. <laughs>